I'm not the greatest of health nuts. I, I do way too little exercise. I don't do a lot of aerobics. Um, I don't sleep very well. Uh, but all the other stuff, I, I do my best to be a role model uh, in terms of um, lifting weights, eating the right foods, and taking supplements regularly. I play a symphony of supplements that is right for me um, in, and my microbiome. Uh, when I was in my early 30s, I started taking resveratrol, which now is pretty well known. It's a, a red wine uh, molecule. It's found in grapes. And what's great about resveratrol is that it belongs to a class of what I call xenohormetans. Xeno means between species, and hormetan means something that mimics adversity. So what we're doing when we eat resveratrol, when I take resveratrol, is I'm mimicking what would happen if I ate food, plants that are stressed out or dying or being preyed upon by bugs or dehydrated. Resveratrol is made by plants, grapes, of course, but others, when they are stressed. It, when we make wine, we stress the grapes before we pick them because you get you know, better flavor. That's because these molecules go up as a stress response. And I have this theory that when we eat those molecules, our body will try to survive because the signal is that our food is dying. Okay, so this is a, a very ancient, millions of years old, probably billions of signaling between food and the consumer of that food. So that's resveratrol. Uh, the molecular mechanism is uh, very well worked out. It modulates a variety of uh, processes in the body that defend us against aging. It improves DNA repair, for example. It reduces free radical damage. It lowers inflammation etc cetera, etc cetera. and we even study the enzyme one of the enzymes that it modulates called SIRT1 um, and I've spent a lot of my career figuring that stuff out but I've been taking resveratrol one gram a day you need to mix it with something don't just swallow it with water because it's not soluble it'll pass through your gut so I mix it with a bit of yogurt in the morning a little bit sugar-free yogurt uh, I'm, I've become vegan now so at least as best I can I'm a struggling vegan so I have a a bit of plant-based, coconut-based uh, yogurt. You can use a bit of olive oil, but make sure there's something that you mix it with. I open up capsules and dissolve it. That's important. The next molecule that I take is another one that we've studied in my lab for over a decade, and it's called NMN. Okay, I didn't say M&Ms. I said NMN. And NMN uh, is short for nicotinamide mononucleotide, and it is a... Uh, a molecule that our body makes all the time, but we make less of it as we get older. And the less we have, the less well this SIRT1 enzyme protects the body. And so I, by taking NMN every day, again, it's a gram a day. Um, sometimes I go down to half a gram um, because I'm, I'm trying to titrate my testosterone. But anyway, from somewhere between half a gram and a gram I take, and that is known in humans to raise the levels of a molecule called NAD that the SIRT1 enzyme needs to work, as do about 400 other enzymes that are good for health. And we don't want low NAD levels because we have less energy, we don't sleep well, and our bodies don't fight against aging. So that it's that NMN resveratrol combo that I like. Resveratrol is the accelerator pedal on the enzyme, and NAD is the fuel, the gas.